Hi, this is Naomi speaking. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial that I'm about to show you. It's very basic, very simple and easy for anyone to do. Here's a list of the things you need for this particular project. Uh, white gesso, paints, uh, paper, stencil, acrylic paints which could be sort of pink based, uh, like pink, purple, that sort of thing. Paintbrush and and that's about it. A uh, stencil, which I didn't write down the area. Yeah. Stencil and a sponge brush. So here we are with the gesso. Slather it on, a bit, a bit of a gloop. Like a small kid playing, doesn't it? Use this brush instead, actually. A bit smaller. Oh wow, look at that. Whew. That is great. Don't worry about the outlining on the good desk. <laughs> I'll fix that in a minute. So this is just slathering on. You know, when you're little kids you play with your paints and that sort of thing. It's real enjoyment. It's a pity as adults we don't do more of it, I think, because it's so theoretic and makes your well-being and your happiness soar when you've got something to do and any age can do art I don't think there's such thing as someone who's better than another it's just a matter of doing what you enjoy and what's fun for you here we are nearly there nearly there coming along As I said, I'll wipe this this desk in a minute. I suppose this dries a bit, which won't be a moment. Right, okay, getting about there. Lovely job. Makes it nice and textured and gives strength to the paper itself. So that's why gesso is so good. Right, here we go. I've put some blobs of colour on, literally speaking, and little d globs, not very big, just sort of like a little, little squirts of colour. And it's all over the page. purples with it. So, so far we've got like a dark pink, light pink, um, there we are, and a bit of purple, a little bit of like uh, white. good stuff. Oh, that's so satisfying doing that. I love doing art. It's my favourite thing. And a little bit darker purple this time. Right. Now I guess you know what's going to happen next, don't you? You don't? Oh, we'll find out in a sec. I'll get my trusty brush. Like that, and I'm just going to blend them all in. And as you can see, they're all sort of merging into each other, and they blend in because 
they're very very comfortable with each other these colors and they like each other's company right yeah, that's that done that didn't take long did it okay and then I'll just have let it dry a little bit for a moment. Great, okay, just to soften the whole effect, I'm going to do a stencil with some white paint through it. As you can see, this is a great little stencil. I have quite a few and they're so good. So I've just put some a sponge brush and some paint. So I just do this. As anyone normally does when these these sort of things I might use a different brush this one's an army okay it's probably a bit better yeah take a moment just go through it some of you and then you can do your own shortly I uh, this will inspire you to try out different techniques and with time you know you can develop your own style that you're happy with so that would be good for you Up. Okay, more. This will leave a little pattern, but it won't be too stark because it's white, so it will just add a bit of a softness to the painting itself with all the purples in the background like this and you'll have to try it yourself and see what you think there we are a very pretty little thing in the middle which actually really softens the whole painting it doesn't do justice in here actually um, it's a lot prettier with the way I've got it from this end but anyway this will dry out shortly and then voila you've got your own stencil painting all for yourself and I hope you enjoyed this video very much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye.